What's up, guys? Walla J here, and I'm here with my co-host, Chris. Chris, say hello to the peoples. Hello, peoples. And also joining us from Washington State, Miguelinho. What, what is up, up y'all? Bro? Uh, we were having some difficulties trying to get on live, and uh, I think we finally figured it out. I mean, it was a little uh, couple of hours, at least for me, trying to set up my camera, set up the mixer, set up the stream on on the new and improved locker room talk. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, I want to send a shout out to uh, Zach Billings and uh, Brandon Brewer from the Nest Podcast for uh, helping me set this up because uh, it was sucking, man. I couldn't. I was like, man, how do you do this? I can't do it. What the fuck is going on? And Maggie was having all kinds of audio troubles. Too many. Too many? Three many. You're right. Oh, okay. Anyway, guys, what's crack lacking? I haven't seen you in a while. It feels like it, at least. It feels like it, right? I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen you in, what, two weeks, bro? Sounds about right. I saw Chris earlier when I was getting some shit, but that's I'll about snap. it. Yeah, he's swung about a house. Yeah. Chris sounds like he's so excited. He's like, fuck, <laughs> uh, these Puerto Ricans won't shut the fuck up and leave me alone. Fuck. He's, oh, he's, no. he's like, I don't like my picture on there. Oh, I don't give a shit about that. That's from where? That's uh, Puerto Vallarta. No, that's oh, not. That's this uh, man's cultured. No, that's um, uh, Port-au-Prince. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, he's a, he's a traveler. Yeah, yeah. That's where that one's from. That's Port-au-Prince. That's Haiti. Whoa. But Chris is going on vacation. Oh yeah. Chris, Chris is going to Hawaii in two weeks. Well, <gasps> I can, for two weeks and on Tuesday. Yes. Whoa. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Are you going to get a coconut bra? Hell yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, man. And cup. <laughs> and that's all he's going to wear. Oh, No tan lines. Well, sort of. Tan circles. Three of tan them. circles. So, Megan, when are you coming back, bro? Hell if I know, man. Sometime. Sometime? Yeah, I guess I'll let the seasonal depression kick in before I make that purchase of a ticket. <laughs> it should just be there all the time. It is, but I just pretend like it's not half the year. I just push the pain away. I just eat combos to hide the pain. That's why I gain a few love pounds every time I come back. A few love pounds? A few? A few hundred. What's up? (laughs) So, guys, tomorrow, UFC 245. Yep, yep. Are you guys excited at all, or do you guys don't give a shit? I'm as excited as Jose Aldo is to drink water and eat food right now, bro. Well, I heard that he looked like he was dying. Yes, and that's why I made that comment. So like, <laughs> yeah. they posted a picture like a week or two ago to show that he's doing fine with the weight cut, and him like with his team, they're just holding him up. He's like, like a skeleton, like just dude. He he looks like a yeah. raisin, a Brazilian raisin right now. Yeah, their their idea of doing fine is not what I would call doing fine. Well, did he look like Connor when he was cutting to one forty five? He looked like Connor if he'd be cutting to one thirty five. Yeah. Well, that, that that means that he'd be like on death's door. Exactly. That's yeah, dude. He looked much, bad. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. The photo. The photo was. Uh, like, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't want that photo out there of me. I think. Yeah, I don't gets, want anyone seeing it. I think he's gonna get murked tomorrow. The uh, pictures uh, kind of showed us that man, dude. It's bad, bro. It's really bad. He looked like an evil villain in an old like 1980s He Man movie. Yeah, like Nosferatu. Or something. He looked like Skeletor before the steroids. Damn. Yes. Yes. I, ha- there you I go. haven't seen it. I, I want to watch the, the the fucking weigh-ins. I mean, I could pull them up and watch them later, but still, yeah, I want to see. It'd be like it'd like, be like Mumra if all the shit fall off, fall off of them. <laughs> so the the funny thing is is that you know Volkanovski beat Aldo, and he's fighting tomorrow Max Holloway for the title, but he's saying that Aldo is tougher stylistically than Holloway. So I, I think he's just saying that to to like psych himself up. But yeah, that's all that is. That's a that's a pep talk you for know, himself. Here's my thing, dude. You know what? One thing that Aldo doesn't have, like Holloway, he's not blessed. So, <laughs> well, Kanowski should do some prayers tonight. Well, he's gonna need it tomorrow because uh, Aldo's on a tear. Sure, he lost to. Uh, was his faking face, uh, Dustin Poirier, but that was at 155. He he made the jump, you know. So mm-hmm. back now to 145, he should be all right. 
I mean, Volkanovsky, you know, is no no slouch, but still. But he's know. not blessed, is all I'm saying. No, oh, yeah, he's not blessed. Well, none of them are. <laughs> not like that. So who who are you guys picking on that one? Just because all the shit I'm talking, I'm going to go with blessed. Well, you have to at this point. I yeah. Guess. Yeah, I have to commit Same that. Chris. Yeah, I think Holloway's got that one. I, I don't I don't know if it's going to be that, that tough of a fight fight. I don't know. I mean, I guess it'll be tough, but I mean, they're all tough, but. I think I think Holloway's got it. So I got to go to the UFC because I got to pull up the card. Shit, I should probably do that too, so I can know what other people I'm talking about. I, well, I don't really know. know all the fights for tomorrow, to be honest. Being the producer, you should have had that up. Well, the, the producers technically already stamped the vacation time cards. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> my boy's going to Margaritaville. Oh man, yeah. I, I thought he was going to like. You know what? I'm out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I tell oh you, 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 caught, you caught me just right because I literally just sat down on the couch and I hadn't quite got settled in in comfy and and Coco hadn't you know laid down right next to me and you know and then you texted me so I I just immediately got back up. Now if you would have waited five more minutes, I'd have been it like, would have been a wrap. Yeah, I'd be like, nah, fam, I'm out. Take care. Y'all, y'all <laughs> have fun. I guess it would have been me and Miguelinho, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Puerto Rican podcast. Ooh. Pretty much. <laughs> this is the Marty Cone podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they keep calling me Marty Cone? What? Is that like how you say shrimp? <laughs> what? Welcome to the all new Pendejo podcast. <laughs> Weppa. <laughs> yeah, y'all would, y'all would have to have a, a wicked soundboard for that one. Uh, yeah, I don't. I didn't get enough cables to hook up the, the soundboard, <laughs> but that's okay because I was having all kinds of troubles trying to get this hooked up. If you so, hooked up the soundboard and press the sound to show it explode, bro. Right. <laughs> <At this point. laughs> well, we we got hit. We got Mickey on. He couldn't hear us, and I was on on the line with uh, Zach and Brandon, and they could hear me just fine. But for some reason, Mickey couldn't. Mm-hmm. So I had to hang up with them call Miggy, and then he could hear me, but then I couldn't call Zach. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck, man? Again, I'm blaming Bill Gates, y'all. Y'all heard this here first, locker room talk. Bill Gates. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, man, some, sometimes Skype's funny, dude. I, that's why it's... it's y'all, yeah. I'm gonna just Discord. throw this out there. Uh, you, my like power Discord. might go out. I don't have to pay a power bill, so it's not my fault. It's the government's fault, but just letting y'all know my life started flickering a little bit. Alright. Now, okay, so we're, we're going... We're going Holloway for sure. Yeah, uh, I got Holloway too. Now, Duranda May, she came in looking like a fucking MI6 villain with the <laughs> the get up. Like she was going to scale a fucking skyscraper and steal some jewels and shit. Really? She did, dude. She looked like like a fucking, she just left Tom Cruise's new Mission Impossible movie. Like, <laughs> fuck. Damn. Did I she not, it. Miggy? Dude, no, I haven't seen the pictures at all for the weigh-ins. I've just seen Jose Aldo pre-weigh-ins looking like death. Dude, she comes in with like a, it's literally like a tactical black turtleneck and like tactical no more. pants. Look, looking this up right now. And she's just like standing there. I mean, literally in like boots. I'm telling you, she looked oh, like she Lord. just came off. She looks like she just came off the set of Mission <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> she is dressed like Tom Cruise in the movie. You're not wrong. Huh? I'm not wrong, bro. I'm telling you, she looks like she's getting ready to steal somebody's diamonds. Dude, here's the thing, man. Um, she was afraid to fight Cyborg. I don't know if you guys remember that. She stepped down from that fight, Durandry. Now she's about to beat the, or try to fight the only woman that's actually beaten Cyborg. I'd be scared. I would what? too, a little bit, especially with saying? the. I'm saying what Amanda's saying? gonna fuck this girl up, dude. Even Amanda <laughs> went with this bandana print sports coat. Yeah, that's like that's she's gonna like go my girlfriend later. Couch. She's that's gonna go gamble actually. Couch. She's gonna go to the all you can eat Vegas buffet. And Durandra's gonna try and I guess steal the belt. That's like her only choice of getting the belt, stealing it. Yeah. It it's gonna be like Ocean's Eleven type shit, you know. <laughs> Didn't they make one with all women's cast? Yeah, they did. So she's gonna yeah, get a sequel to that yeah. one. Yeah. It was called Ocean's Eight. Okay, so she's gonna be Ocean's and it, Nine, and it, was, and it wasn't very good. Oh, you heard it here first. Uh, well, I don't, I, I don't think uh, they heard it here first. Yeah, no, uh, no, they I heard it from a lot of people looking into it. <laughs> I, I think, I think it was pretty bad, man. When I saw it, I was Damn. like, nah. 
Yeah. Sorry, they, I, they went. I wasn't on my went, phone. I, I was just sharing shit. Yeah, they went girl power, and everybody went okay. Let's check it out. And then they came out, and they went, "Oh my god, that's fucking horrible." They're like, "Fuck!" I hope they don't make another one. It was pretty bad, man. It was. It was because they because they literally relied just on girl power for that one, and not really a, a good story. It, you know, it was kind of like, "Ugh, this is bad." Look, I'm just you don't I'm know just, my story. You know my swag. Okay, remember that. I'm just glad yeah. that my I'm just glad that my friend. Uh, Illegally streamed it. There you go. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and I was able to watch it that way. I was yeah, like, your this friends should have still asked for their money back, even though they illegally <laughs> right. streamed it. <laughs> uh, time is money. I mean, that was two hours wasted. Oh, that's oh, even worse, bro. Yeah, you don't get that shit back. And you know what? I I, I love Sandra Bullock, but uh, no. Ocean's so, 8. After Ocean's 8. Depicting- <laughs> A southern woman in the blind side. I only want to see her act as a southern woman from now on. I agreed. What is, what is the uh, oh god the the lady from Deliverance? What is her name? Deliverance. Yeah, uh, yeah, not uh, not Deliverance. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Mister. Oh, Ka- oh Kathy, Kathy Bates. Bates. Kathy yeah. Bates. Yeah. Sandra Bullock is the new Kathy Bates. <laughs> She's gonna do the wa- uh, the water boy too. She's gonna be the mom. Oof. Rough. I don't know if I want to see that. That might that might ruin that might ruin the blind side for me. Everything's the devil. Wallow's the devil. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, I see you're right. Favors fighting again. Yeah, I know he's fighting uh Peter Young. Yeah, but that's a young guy too, man. I don't know. I think they keep. I I think they just keep throwing young guys at him to just try to finally knock him off so they can you know wave bye to him. They're trying to beat you with pen, my boy. You're right. I think so. I hope not, man. Well, because the last guy they threw at him, everybody was like, you know, this dude's going to murk Uriah. You know, Uriah's old. He ain't got nothing for this young upstart. Da, da, oh, da, shit. Da, da. He had Ricky Simone last. Damn. Right. He knocked him out. And, and he knocked him the fuck seconds. out. seconds. Yeah. He, oh. like, murked the poor dude. It's like, don't sleep on the, don't sleep on the old Uriah favor, guys. Yeah, that well, he's just goes to show too. he's not that old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's staying active with that. He's doing like grappling competition now too. He's a young forty. Come on. Well, I mean, the last grappling competition I saw he he did was he he got Gordon to be on his team and then sat on sat in the chair and went go get him Gordon and <laughs> went yay we win. <laughs> I know he had a combat jujitsu match with Nikki Ryan, but he didn't tell Nikki it was combat jujitsu. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, Nikki. Nikki didn't get the same email he did. Yeah. Oh, speaking of jujitsu, y'all, did you guys hear about the quintet last night? No, uh, I have heard about it, but I didn't watch it. It's actually pretty good, man. Only thing that sucks is I took Nyquil and I regret taking it because I forgot how fast it kicks in for me. No? So like, okay. I'm watching it and it's like I see Gordon right now. I was like, oh, cool, I get to see Gordon go. I open my eyes again. I was like, fuck, I missed the fight. <laughs> well, seven minutes to five pass. Yes. Oh, God damn. Yeah, but it was, dude, it was fucking, for me, it's late. It was like eight, nine o'clock my time. So for you guys, it's hey, fucking it like midnight. midnight. Yeah. yeah, yeah, midnight. And Where was it, was it really at? They did it on a Thursday, too. It was in Vegas. Oh. At Red Rocks Casino, yeah. What was the team, though? Um, So they had like a Strike Force, Pride, uh, WEC, UFC were the teams. And what what was Gordon at? A super fight. Oh, super fight. Okay. Yeah, he had a super fight. Craig Jones had a super fight. Um. Yeah, so I only got to see Team UFC go against uh, Pride. And who won? UFC did. Who was on that team? Um, so we had a... Uh, we? Was it Anthony okay. Rebel Johnson, Sugar what? Shane. What? Sugar yeah. Shane O'Malley? Yeah. Even nice. though, like, I don't know if he had the Usada stuff. Or they didn't care. So it was yeah. him, Clay Guida, uh, Gilbert uh, Burns, and... Okay. Uh, fuck, who was the other one? Damn it. Now I gotta look this up. I already forgot. I done fucked up, y'all. Your boy done Damn. fucked up. It's all Let's good. See. No worries. Damn. I feel bad for whoever I'm forgetting now who I'm leaving out of uh, Team UFC. It doesn't matter who it was. It was, right, but then it, it was pretty good, man. Um, Then uh, with uh, WEC and uh, was it Strike Force? I know Jake Shields was on there. Let's go Strike him. Force? Uh-huh. Okay. Makes yeah. sense. Yep. Yeah. And then um, they had like a... Again, I fucking fell asleep. I only really got to see the UFC go against Pride. That was pretty fun to watch. 
Yeah. And then, uh, so word out there was apparently Craig Jones was worrying about shitting his pants. Why? Because I guess he had food poisoning. He said he was more concerned about shitting his pants. <laughs> I guess well, I saw, I mean, you know. Legit concern. Yeah, he was more concerned about that. So that's a fucking G right there. I mean, you know, you do that once on the mat and guess what? That's it for life. You, yeah. You know, you will, <laughs> you will never not be remembered for that. Yeah, See, but I'd rather do the shitting than getting shit on. Just saying. You're going to be known as caca pants. <laughs> right? <laughs> Doodoo boy. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like forever. Every every tournament you ever go to, somebody is going to yell at you about you shitting your pants. You know? <laughs> but again, man, I'd rather be the shitter than get shitted on. You know, it's, that's how I see it. Yeah, kind of like, like better to be pissed off than pissed on, right? Exactly. Yeah. Cause think about it, that'd be worse. I'd never compete again if I got pooped on, literally. Oh, what was that girl's uh, the the UFC girl that had diarrhea, or whatever? Yeah, <laughs> it ex- exploded all over Felice Herrig. Yeah, yeah. She, I don't think she's ever been referee in the UFC stoppage again. Referee stoppage due to diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't think Felice has been on the in, in any fights after that. Traumatized, yeah, she has. dude. Yeah, she, she has. has. She, okay. All yeah, right. yeah, she has. She probably but has flashbacks, taking, dude. Wake dude, up with she's nice taking sweats. a weird turn though on her Instagram. Like her Instagram d- turned almost thoughtish. Hey, like, like Claudia, she does that now. Yeah, it's just weird because before her Instagram wasn't like that. It was a lot of her training, Yo, and you, you know, know why, right? Why? Do you ever hear what Paige Van Zant said? She said she makes more money off of Instagram posts than fighting. These girls were like, you know what? Fuck getting punched in the face. All you do is take a picture and get what? Get money? Fuck I, it. I'm telling you because that's that's like her thing now. Like she takes pictures in a lot of her leggings with her, you know, showing off her feet and her, you know, and, you know, accentuating her legs and her ass. Yeah. And I'm going, what the fuck are you doing? Trying to you make know, money? I, I guess so. The but it's just kind of like, you know, okay. And you don't have to cut weight for that? What? Right. You can, Shit, go, with, you can go thick with two C's and get a little extra cash. Exactly. <laughs> if that's all it takes, then by all means, man. If I had the body, I'd do it too. Hell yeah, I'd love not to do shit. Just take a picture real quick. Maybe I'm spend thinking, an hour editing it. Shit, I'll, money. I'll put on a thong for that shit. Hey, if I, you know, like if Lizzo? I had the body. Hey, I'm sure there's women out there that would probably, you know, not a lot, but I'm sure there's a few out there that would probably pay y'all handsomely for that. Hey, well, I need to find them because uh, I'm trying to live my best life with doing minimal work. Yeah, no well, you're, well, you're doing good, Miggy. Thanks, man. So uh, speaking of a uh, thong with big people, how about this Lizzo girl? You guys heard about that in Staples Center? Who? I heard. I did not see it. So and I'm not the, sure I want. Wait, wait, singer, who are we talking about? This girl, Lizzo. She's a singer. She's a big girl, dude. She has this one song. Um, what, what's she tipping? Like 320? Oof, um, uh, Possibly being generous, I'm not sure of her height. So I can't tell you. Mm. Oh no, not that big. But she's she's. Mm. <laughs> I didn't say it. It wasn't me. So she went to a Lakers game this past week, and like for the Laker girls, were dancing to one of her songs, and they put her on the jumbo tron. She starts dancing, turns around. She had like a shirt, then boom, her ass is out, and like she's wearing a thong, and then everyone's like, "What the fuck is this?" Mm-hmm. So then, like, the Stapers, yeah, it starts twerking, dude. They quickly went back to the Lakers girls. Are like, we ain't showing this. Yeah. And people are like, what the fuck? There's kids there and all that. You know, you don't really see people just like that. Hell, even the Lakers girls technically cover their bottom area more than she did that night. And uh, yeah, so the Staples Center president made a statement saying that uh, she's welcome there. They're not. They don't care. I'm just like, y'all didn't say nothing because you know the moment you say something, you get accused of body shaming. That's oh my theory. fuck yeah. You know, I'd be uh, like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Do what you got to do, bro. I ain't saying shit. You ain't. Uh, no. Hell no. I'm so not getting no bad a Yelp reviews. Motherfucking word. So had it been Fergie because she's in shape and looks good, she probably would have been banned. Uh, probably not because she's, too, not. you know, that's star power, bro. But it wouldn't be. Yeah, it's like this girl's famous. She's and like I think that's why she does some of the shit she does because she knows Is that. Is she Hispanic? She's a black, black girl. Black? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's a black girl. Yep. Yeah. And then apparently she dates an NFL superstar and people are trying to figure out who it is. It's Aaron Rodgers. Do I hear mm. crickets? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. I need my soundboard. <laughs> Hold on. Cricket, cricket. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, uh, she did that. 
And I guess power to her. She knows no one's going to say shit because nowadays you say something, you're going to offend somebody. For you know, sure. Yo, if, like if Peloton was smart, they'd put her in a commercial. You know? Well, you didn't, okay, oh, you didn't so about according, that according, to, according to the web, she only weighs 308 pounds. <laughs> oh, Dog, you were close. Fuck. So I was off by what, 12 pounds? Yeah, she's a, she's a, but now, you know, 140 kilograms. And so she's a three, 308. There's only one person that could do anything about her, and her name is Gabby Garcia. Well, I do apologize for adding those 12 pounds. <laughs> you inconsiderate fuck, you body shaming fuck. But let's see. <laughs> she's 5'10. Well, she's tall. Yeah, she is. Taller than me. <laughs> Super fight? <laughs> that doesn't take much. <laughs> yeah, Gab- Gabby, Gabby would hit her hard enough to make her drop a couple sizes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm just saying, dude, it's Gabby. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Shit, Gabby hit me hard enough to make me drop a size or two. Nah, I doubt it. Shit. <laughs> she hits you hard enough to make you drop a size. Nah. Uh, we Here, here's the problem shit. with the dude. You're not a Japanese grandma, so I think you're safe, bro. Yeah, yeah, I can run faster than that Japanese grandma could. Yeah, that's for sure. To see the the where the Japanese grandma messed up is when she hit the ropes. She didn't go <laughs> under and out of the ring. <laughs> she stayed in. See, she forgot that's where, the script. Dude, they probably yeah. yeah. They probably told the grandma it was professional wrestling. She's like, "Fuck yeah, let's do this." Yeah, and then, and then when she got, she got that first hit, she's like, "What?" Yeah, she forgot what year it was. Yeah, see, I would have just, I would have hit the ropes and then dipped. <laughs> I'd be like, peace. <laughs> I would have tapped, dude. I'd be like, yo, I'm, I'm done. I got y'all paid, just right? No the bell rung. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> y- y'all said I just had to fight. You didn't say how this fight had to end, and this shit ends. Sign the check, please. Yeah, fuck that. I'd rather get killed by the yakuza than get punched by Gabby. Just saying. Yeah, you know what? I'll give him my pinky. Here you go. Take it. Give take me the knife. Both. Yep. Chunk, chunk. It's gone. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll take a body shot. That shit will heal. Mm, I don't maybe. know, dude. You ain't, get, you maybe. ain't gonna get that pinky back. Maybe, but that body shot goes through your fucking gut and breaks your spine. Bro. <laughs> I mean, you'd be like, oh, fuck, I'm Christopher Reeves. Shit. Have you seen my gut? Have you seen Gabby Garcia? Yeah. Have you seen my gut? I have. And <laughs> You'll if have I the was first to put... ever recorded sprained gut. Right, like if I'm gonna put your gut against Gabby Garcia, dude, she I'm putting my money on Gabby belly, Garcia. <laughs> you shit a block of fat. That ain't happening, <laughs> right? Just instant colonoscopy, just <laughs> instant, just blah. fucking full body cleanse right there. Off a fucking body <laughs> shot, dude. Yeah, body cleanse is fine, but she ain't gonna kill shit. Me. I ain't shit. I no shit pinky. out my kneecap. That's <laughs> Bro, how hard she hit me. <laughs> how am I gonna pick my nose if I don't have a pinky? Yeah. I'll you pick got... another finger. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I want my spine right where it is. That's okay. I'll keep all my fingers. All right. You you be a pussy and be like, oh, take it, take it. Well, they live like Stephen Hawking. People are gonna ask you, was the fight worth it? <laughs> right. <laughs> Bro, yeah, there was your fucking Atari twenty six hundred voice ass. <laughs> Here you trying to order some fucking tacos with that shit. <laughs> They're like, whoa, why is the computer ordering tacos? Right. He's going to eat that through his throat hole? What the fuck? Let me have three soft tacos and a yeah. chicken burrito. You're going to take a burrito smoothie to eat it. He'd be like, sorry, bro. <laughs> we don't speak DOS up in here. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> then you can't go to self. Or do you know the little uh, the restaurants now have the little robot checkout, the computer checkout? You can't do the touchscreen, bro. You're like, fuck. I'm just going to attach an Alexa to my neck. It's a great idea. And then you can't talk. You're like, they're like, why is this dude in a wheelchair and holding an Alexa right now? What the fuck? They're like, the CIA really got affected by budget cuts. Uh, shit. Yeah. Well, this whole future cyborg shit was really not what we hoped it was going to turn out to be. Dude. Like, uh, apparently a whole bunch of people like ring cameras have been getting hacked and whatnot. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Where, like, they were... <laughs> Be, being able to just open open port access to them. Yeah, and just fucking with people. Like, I saw or heard audio of, like, some little girl in her room. Some guy access the ring camera. And he's like, hey. And she's like, what? Hello, who is this? He's like, it's Santa Claus. You can do whatever you want. Break your TV. 
yeah <laughs> shit like, like that and she she called for her parents at least i mean dude that would have been me as a kid i would have fucked everything up i'd burn the damn house down oh man. santa told me to <laughs> santa so, said i could do it i get my pointy saurus three dude so is it safe to say that uh ring stock dropped when that happened probably bro <laughs> Like, I'd hate that, man. I'm just taking a shit in peace. I said, hey, dude, you missed a spot. I see a dingleberry right there. I'd be trauma. I'd never poop again. Man, yeah. I, I got a camera in here. You know, I, I got that same camera you do, Chris. Mm-hmm. And shit, if, if that happens, I'm, I'm burning that shit. <laughs> they see you, they're like, fuck, I regret this. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm sure they've seen me naked by now. <laughs> they're like, oh, man. <laughs> Hey, I'll like, teach oh. them a lesson. Yeah. Like, oh, shit's tiny. And let me yeah. put it up their ass. See how tiny <laughs> yes. it is. Like what you see, Mr. FBI man. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Mr. China man, because that, that shit is Chinese, bro. But, you know, there's yeah, going to be wallow action figures pretty soon. <laughs> and they're going to change it from locker room to fucking, let's see, what, what's the opposite of a fucking locker room? Bathroom Maybe. talk is going to be yeah. an action figure. Yeah, it'll be something similar, but just off enough. And then it's going to be Cuban instead of Puerto Rican, so he really can't right. do shit. They'll change the color of the flag just a hair. <laughs> the blue will be like turquoise. Right. The red will be like pink. They're like, you motherfuckers are blind. <laughs> You're going to yeah. knock off. Even your action figure is going to have knock off Jordan. They're going to do so much attention to detail with it. they like. Yeah, well, we Chinese, we can't see that well. Whoa, man, you know, it's, it's 2019, <laughs> almost 2020. Let's hope none of us get famous because they'll pull this up right now. We're fucked. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> yeah, I've made sure to say enough to make to guarantee that I'll never, if I'm ever famous, my 15 minutes will be cut way short. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I got you 14 minutes of fame. I like how you oh, think, yeah. player. All of yeah. ours will be. Yeah. <laughs> like we're gonna do something about it. We're gonna go to China, and we're gonna blindfold all them Chinese people that turned us in with dental floss. <laughs> they won't see shit. I'm experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> 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 oh man, what's wrong with my camera? Oh, shit. I'm lagging, y'all. Oh shit. Oh man, I gotta go. Oh, oh man. Oh, all the stuff. So Chris can talk about, about about black people like John Jones and Tyrone. Oh, but I can't make a Chinese joke. First of all, he's from Callahan, so I guess that's the norm over there. But uh, yo, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn. Uh, that, that, oh, I'm having that, camera issues again. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Uh, <laughs> That's a, that's what I always throw at Chris. He's like, yeah, you don't like black people just because you're like. <laughs> oh, fuck, he does every fucking time. <laughs> All the fucking time. Like the, the mean, one, the one, the one guy he doesn't like happens to be black. Right? <laughs> I'm mean, like, you're racist. You're racist. But then he loves DC. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Carl, I gotta Winslow. find a, I yeah, gotta find the white guy to hate. <laughs> How, oh, hold on, this. What do you think about Colby? Oh, I love Colby. He's great. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> He's now, trying to make America great again. That's right. He's gonna go into the ring wearing that hat. I'm in, I'm interested to see what he's gonna do since he actually already came out. Uh, I guess it was yesterday and kind of admitted that you know the whole that it's all a stick. You know. But we already knew that. Say. I know we all. That's the sit. I mean, we all knew it was a stick, but you still don't come out and say, yeah, this is all a stick. He was you supposed know? to wait well, for well, after the election. Well, he didn't have to say it. We all we all knew. I, yeah, I think so. But what about the what about you know Chad and his Monster Energy drinks and shit like that? Who didn't think it was a fucking shtick? That was like, this is my guy. It's their fault for believing WWE is real. Also, yeah, no shit. Oh, dude, on, you know, there's that's a, on you, oh. Chad Mendes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're the not talking about support Chad Colby. Do not have that last name. Else. Or Kyle's, you know, you know the oh, guy. Oh yeah, all they're, the fucking they're, Kyle's. I thought, yeah, I thought you meant Chad Mendez. I'm like, oh, that's no, I like Chad no. Mendez. Man. Look, Chad Chad Mendez is my is my guy. I watch I his YouTube channel. I don't think there's the any time. Colby supporters with the last name Mendez. I'm just throwing that out there. Oh, you'd be surprised, bro. <laughs> there, there's a big, big group, basically Latinos for Trump. Yeah, Probably Cubans in Miami. No. they're hella Republican. I- California, bro. I'm yeah, not surprised by that. There's a lot, dude. You'd be surprised. 
You'd be surprised, man. Why are we not surprised that Chris is happy about that? <laughs> He's <laughs> like, finally, that. Latino folk I can agree with. I like these Puerto Rican scums. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Su- I don't support the guy. I don't support any of those politicians, whether they're, whether they're Republican or Democrat. I don't give a shit about any of them. Just like they don't give a shit about any of us. Exactly, exactly. dude. So nah, I just like trolling. It's fun. They can go suck my balls from the front or or the back. Oh, yeah, from the back. You guys, you guys see the quick. <laughs> so all right. Well, we know that you're gonna go Usman because you hate Colby because he's white. So we know that. <laughs> Well, they're talking um, to you, Mickey. Oh, me? Oh, it's right there to Wallace. Um, yeah. So I do want to see him lose just because I saw that him and uh, Jorge Masvidal are beefing now. Yeah, Masvidal's mad because he, you know. Yeah, he called Colby out. I saw that. Yeah. Why is he mad? Do you know why? No. It's, it's a stick. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I would love is. to see them fight, Jorge and Colby. Oof. Well, the only way that's going to happen is if... Colby wins the title. Yeah. Masvidal should be next in line. He better be. <laughs> or if Colby loses and then Masvidal loses his next fight, then they probably get matched up because they got they're both coming off a of losses at that point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I think I think Masvidal's next for the for the He better be, night. man. I know like uh have you guys heard about apparently I guess Dana really wants a Con- Khabib Connor rematch. Yes, I've seen it. And Khabib is like, he says, this guy's he hasn't won a fight in forever. It took me 10 wins to get the title fight. So I expect the same if I ever fight him again. Yeah, Some shit well, like guess, that, what he said. Yeah, well, guess what, Khabib? You, you don't get to make that call, unfortunately. It's going to be, if, if Connor wins against Cowboy, his next fight will be against Khabib. Yeah. And we know how that's going to end already if it happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to fucking get his Lucky Charms pounded again and be done. You know? And I agree. It's like, you know, uh, what's his name? It's fucking Gagey's like, yo, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's pissed, and I don't blame him. He's like, yo, I've fucking I've climbed the mountain. What the fuck I got to do? And they're just get like, yeah, sit pads. down. Yeah, get down. <laughs> shut, Sit down. Shut up, kid. The money makers are sitting over here talking. It's like, well, God damn. He's also he's also Connor's also looking at uh interested in fighting at Ma- uh, Masvidal. So yeah, I mean, good. I'd love no. to see him get his face pounded too. Right I now. think he's talking. I think he's talking shit to just be fucking relevant and try to ride that street Jesus train. Yeah, he's trying to increase the price tag on the fight, man. Oh, what do you mean, are. dude? He don't want no fucking part of Masvidal. If he does, he's fucking crazy. <laughs> I mean, he is. He punched an old man for refusing proper yeah. clothes. He's been fucking drinking his own goddamn liquor way too much. <laughs> Dude. You don't fucking, you don't drink the product, man. Look, you next it. fight I want to see is McGregor versus that old guy that ate the punch. Yeah. I old think man McGregor be- would lose. <laughs> right. Is that all you got, pussy? <laughs> Hit me again. And then just afterwards, take a fucking shot of like Johnny Walker or some shit just to say fuck proper 12. Dude, Mas- Masvidal would to fuck just oh god i mean don't get me wrong i'll watch that fight 100 percent to just watch connor get his ass into a, yeah just to get turned into a mud hole but well, here's the thing though let's say connor you know loses then what he's not gonna get mass with all must be also on a run you know okay. and then and then knows, he, Dana might still give him. A I'm about to say that's, well, the, that's thing. the thing it does not matter it doesn't if matter he, if he wins or loses they're going to give him whoever they want to give him because he's going to draw. And it's, it's, it's not about who deserves it anymore. We've seen that. It's about who's going to make the money. Unfortunately, it's going to be Connor. Where the fuck he wants. If yeah. he loses to Cowboy, I just don't see him fighting, you know, a, a, an even more dangerous opponent, you know, that that's going to put his lights out. I just don't see it. If, you, if, and, the, if the money's there and the UFC goes, sure, if you want to do it, you know, if you, we're going to make, you know, yeah, millions is, of dollars hands over fist yeah. to watch you get your face rearranged. Sure. We'll, yeah, we'll ride that train one more time. Because see what I say, too, with the way Connor behaves, I'm sure there's so much more that we do not hear about due to settlements and all that. So I'm sure he would love to have more money to pay people off to shut up and not talk about him. I am sure of that. Like, uh, I think a year or two ago, there was like this girl that claimed she had the love child of McGregor. And she was just blasting shit on social media. 
saying, oh, his family doesn't even acknowledge this kid is his. The girl even uploaded a picture of her and McGregor in like some hotel. So I'm pretty sure he finally paid her off to shut up because you never heard a thing about her ever again. Of course he did. So I'm sure he wouldn't mind having more money. Because again, who knows what else this fucking guy does. If you punched an old man, I think there's a lot more he's willing to do. Oh, Ben Saunders is fighting too. Yeah, Ben's fighting in uh, that my Matt favorite Brown. black fighter, he's... Mike Perry, is fighting too. Technically, you're right. Sure, okay. Yeah, he's one of the best African-American fighters in the UFC. Who? Mike Perry? Yeah, playing on Mike Perry. He's black. He says it himself. Okay. I didn't know that. Well, Chris, there you go. Another guy for you to hate. Yeah, man. Boom. Boom. See, hating black people. Typical. Mm. I can't hate on Mike Perry, man. That man's broke. I don't know. He just bought a house. Can't be that broke. Did he just buy a house? Yeah. Yeah. And he was, they were reporting that he was like broke. And I'm like, man, he's so, he just got married. He bought a house. So, I mean, he can't be One of the UFC's favorite interracial couples is Platinum Mike Perry with the Platinum Princess. Well, now there may be a difference between, you know, he might have bought a house. He he might not. He might still be broke and he bought a house. He might just went, you know, in debt. Chris is like, it's Airbnb. Okay, pal? Right. I don't know. He got that shit on lease. He renting. (laughs) I, I remember the, the, the article that was posted basically saying that, you know, he was basically broke because yeah. he wasn't getting because he wasn't getting paid that much anyway. No, so he's not even ranked. He's number well, one in my heart, pal. OK, yeah, he's well, fighting well, Jeff. He's fighting Jeff Neal, who's ranked 14th. Mike Perry's not even ranked. Well, what is Connor ranked? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, we talked about ask. it last week. He, he was 14. That's why they went up to a top 15 uh, Yeah, that's list. right. <laughs> yeah, because they had to get they him up there. Right. They didn't want to leave him off. <laughs> Instead of a top 10, now you got a top 15. <laughs> you, you mean to tell me that Mike Perry's not even 15? No. Man, that <laughs> kind of sucks. But he's Mike Perry. He's number one in my heart. Okay. Anyway, Khabib doesn't think that Connor deserves uh, the rematch. Actually, I mean... He, he doesn't you know have they, to take that fight. He can you know say where they've no. Got Connor, you know where they've got Connor ranked now in the lightweight division? Please tell me, like, number three. That's what yeah. I said, yeah. Yeah, three. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Damn. It's not. Yep. Are you serious? Khab- Khabib, Tony, Poirier, Connor McGregor, Gagey. Fuck. Just wow. I'm not yeah. surprised by that. You know what? <laughs> I don't get it, man. Damn. <laughs> Connor, I mean, last teach, week me. He was 14. teach me. Connor, teach me. Connor, teach me. Today he's three. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, it's Fuck, yeah. fucking hilarious, dude. Teach me your ways. Do a fucking business seminar being one of the biggest pieces of shit. He's still <laughs> number 14. He's still number 14 in the pound for pound. Oh, that's what it was. We were looking. But, at oh, wow. But he's, but he's, thir- he's third in lightweight. Okay, wow. well, that's fine. Really? I thought you. I thought you were talking about you know the the pound for pound. No, no, he's still fourteen. The fact that he's pound still fourteen though for the pound for pound is also bullshit. I, the the fact that he's third, right? In, that's in lightweight is bullshit. Well, who's four? Gagey. <laughs> Hassan fought Gagey, so Look. yeah, so bullshit. Gagey should be three, and Connor should be four. Okay, yeah, so who's this, who's below Gagey? Cerrone. Okay. Cerrone. Uh, and they they haven't fought either. They're gonna but fight. They're going to. Yeah. So so yeah, I could even Cerrone's, see Connor being four four or five, and I'd be like, okay. No, I I flip that. You know, I put Cerrone one ahead of Connor. So who's below Cerrone? Uh, Felder. He hasn't fought Felder. Okay. So I Hooker. still put <laughs> this man hasn't fought nobody man, at right. this point. Not really. So the number I, one be- guy is Khabib. He's a champ. Number yep. two, number two is Tony Ferguson, who he hasn't fought yet, right? Yep. And then number three is Gagey or him. Well, it goes one Ferguson, two Poirier, then three Connor. Well, he be <laughs> he be Poirier, but he was at one forty five. He wasn't yeah. at one fifty five, so I wouldn't even put him as beating Poirier at, at lightweight because he was you know two different weight divisions. <laughs> so he hasn't beat the top two. Number three would be who again? Uh, well, he's ranked three, so if you took Connor out of that mix, it'd be Gagey. Okay, so he hasn't be, beat the first two. He hasn't beat Gagey. Hasn't beat, hasn't beat Cerrone yet. Felder. Uh, he hasn't fought Felder. Hooker. He hasn't fought Hooker. Kevin Lee. He hasn't fought Kevin Lee. <laughs> Aliquinta. He hasn't fought Iaquinta. 
Uh, Edson Barboza. I don't think he's fought them. <laughs> I don't Anthony think Pettis. He hasn't fought Pettis either. Fuck, I'm about to just pull up McGregor's Gregor, uh Gregor Gillespie. No, I don't he think has- he's fought him either because he's he's fairly new on the on the scene in this in the lightweight. Uh, Charles Oliveira and then Alexander Hernandez. So, <sighs> so let's see. yeah, <laughs> oh, dude. I'm looking this shit up right now. So his last fight was Khabib lost. He lost. Yeah, I got before that was Floyd lost. Eddie Alvarez was a win. Mm-hmm. Nate was a win. Before that, he lost the decision. Nate. He won. T- he won Aldo, and that was at 145. Mm-hmm. Chad Mendes, Dennis Siver, Dustin Poirier, Diego Brandao. All these guys, bro. Oh, but so long ago. I know all these guys, with the exception of Eddie Alvarez, who was a champion at the time, is the only 155er that he's fought. And guess what? Eddie Alvarez is not even in the UFC anymore. Oh. Nope. That was back in 2016. Yep, 12 November 2016. And then the the Nate fight, the second one where he won via decision, was August of 2016. Mm-hmm. So this dude has not had a a win in three years. Fuck. <laughs> but all he's got to do is come back and beat Cerrone, and, and he'll be fighting the champ. Well, because he's the money maker, you know. Yep. He's the top star when he comes to the pay-per-view, so I Look, guess. I need this Khabib and Tony fight to actually happen this time because you know what's going to happen. If it doesn't happen, Connor's going to get the fight then. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that's scheduled bullshit. for April, so we need to make sure that we put Tony in a bubble wrap and, and Khabib as well. Yeah. And, no. and make, make sure that Khabib's diet is on point. I don't want to hear no, no tiramisu. sushi. Yet. Yeah. No, no, no Italian food for this dude. Yeah. yeah no sunglasses, no cords, everything's wireless. <laughs> yeah. Let's make sure that Khabib is in the States so there's no problems with no visas. You know, shit. Let's make sure that this one happens. Yeah, make sure man. that Tony have his camp in California, Khabib can have his camp in Vegas, and let's make sure that this goes down. Because well, Khabib's I, done with Vegas, so. All right, well, he can have uh, he can have his camp he, in go somewhere. Go to Anaheim. Let's go to Anaheim. Yeah, whatever. go to Anaheim, whatever. <laughs> but I want to see this happen. because Same. I, it has to happen, bro. T- Tony's going to win. Yeah, Tony's I need, be, dude, I can't wait for this. Tony's going to be the first guy. He's going to give him that L. I know Chris doesn't think so, but it's okay. We we know that he doesn't like Mexicans, so. <laughs> That's why he he's not picking Tony. Russia, even though he's Dagestani, close enough. Yeah, sure. yeah. He's like, he's, his skin tone is white, so. <laughs> yes, yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> he's a white president. Cool enough. Cool enough. Yeah. Now, cool what, enough. What I did, what I didn't like about Amanda is that she was revealing her her, her plan to fight uh what's her name Durandamy. She was talking oh, about what? doing yeah she was talking about doing takedowns. It's like I, the way I'm gonna beat her is by you know doing takedowns. And I'm like what? Since when? Yeah, Since what she won't, she won't she won't do a single takedown in the fight and she'll just stand up and just box the shit out of her. Plot was the only takedowns when she gets dropped. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that the randomine was uh, a kickboxer, yeah, a kickboxing champion. So her hands and her feet are pretty good. So I know, he, but you know what? Now tonight and all day tomorrow, they're in the gym. They're just doing nothing but takedown defense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true, true. They were like, like shit. She, yeah, she said she's going to take us down. We got to start working on our double leg defense and single leg defense, and then they're going to be twist. ready. And then she doesn't do it, not at once. Plata, and she's like, training Jorge Masvidal's knee to Askren. That's what she's practicing right now. Right. That'd be great. Yeah, I, I'm actually excited for this fight card tomorrow. Oh, it's a great card. It's a, yeah. it's a good it's a good year-ending card. Yeah, I mean, typically that's the end of the year card should be good. Um, yeah. This is going to be flying to Hawaii thinking about the card. We're like, man, that was a good card. <laughs> I hope so. I hope they're all good fights. Yeah. It's good. So I'll, I'll, on either one of two ways. That was a good Carter. Damn, my boy Colby lost. He didn't make America great again. Fuck. Yeah, I know. That'll be a bummer. So how long are you going to be in Hawaii for? Uh, we'll be back uh, the 29th. Oh, 29th? you had Krima in Hawaii? Yeah, yeah so we'll have Christmas, Christmas in Mahalo, Hawaii. Mahalo, dude. <laughs> it's going to be warm, dude. Yeah, it's uh, the weather is uh, going to be very nice there. It's like 95 degrees with a breeze. No, actually, Whoa. it's not. It is. Uh, <laughs> I actually already looked it up. It's. Uh, let's see. Uh, highs are 80, uh, 
82 and the low is 71. Whoa. Sounds like a horrible time. Oh, man. It's like she left it on repeat. Oh. Basically, and that that's it. Like, uh, that is the temperature when that's the temperature Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It drops down a degree Saturday, Sunday. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Bring and a then, sweater. Uh, yep. Then it's back up the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We've got a, a low chance of rain, 20%. Uh, it's going to be a little windy, but that's expected to be in, in Hawaii. Oh, <laughs> so the breeze. Should be, should be nice. Aloha, friends. 15 past the uh, hour. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and he's Chris 82 come back. degrees on that hey nice guys, I day. met Max Holloway. Blessed. <laughs> hey, I'm going to try to go to a bar and see if I can't watch a BJ Penn fight. <laughs> I'm about to say, be careful. You might be his next opponent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that'll be the first win he's had in seven years. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. No, that's fine. I hate I totally would bet against myself if I was going against BJ Penn too. <laughs> but I would also be like, hit me again, bitch. Pa, hit me again. Pa, be like, y'all video in this, right? Video, get good angles. <laughs> and they'll be like, no, that's BJ Penn. <laughs> that's a local hero. Yeah. What, what do they call non-natives? Holly or something like that? Um, hey, Holly, get out of here, dude. This is no, our hero. Gotcha. What is it? Gotcha. Yeah, no, yeah, wrong, <laughs> wrong island. Wrong island. Um, now, what are they called? Uh, Assholes? I can't remember. <laughs> well, assholes. Yep, assholes. And I gotta look I, this up. I can't remember. There is a term for it. Hey, bro, leave our island, bro. <laughs> fucking asshole. Eh? Well, I mean, they don't really have that, you know. Oh yeah, it is. Or er, hey, ole. Is that how you say H A O L E? Or is it holly? Hey, ole. <sighs> howly. There you go. Yeah, yeah, howly. Howly. yeah. So it was close. You look at that. Yeah, howly. Yeah. That's great to say. Howly, go home. Howly, go home. <laughs> And I'll be like, I'm going to with a paycheck. Go hit me again, bitch. Your leg kicks ain't shit. Just leg lock him, bro. He can't really defend those. <laughs> <laughs> hey, See, BJ, spin the white other man way, comes dummy. And leg locks are national hero. Not cool, bro. Right. <laughs> spin the other way. You spun the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. you, think he, you think he can get out of your leg locks, bro? Mine? Yeah. Ooh, probably. Honestly, yeah. I think the hardest part about leg locking BJ Penn is just he has tiny legs and Chris is a big man. Yeah, I got them big thighs, bro. You should be comfortable <laughs> having them locked on if that's the case. Hump his leg, bro, with his knee in the middle. Oh, uh, put your nutsack in his thigh. Yeah, oh, go my north, south. <laughs> no, oh, I'd be afraid of that. Uh, go north, gonna... south and just start humping. What are you doing? It's a jiu-jitsu <laughs> move. No, that's not. Whatever. I'm getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hey, Hawaii, be careful. This man's coming yeah. to your land. Right. Any open His house is coming to Hawaii. <laughs> His plane ticket says Predator. <laughs> Dude, the moment you get off the plane, BJ Penn's going to have a sign there waiting for you. Howley. Right. Howley, Chris. Super fight on the tarmac. Hey, bro. I heard you talking about me, bro. Right. Hold on. Let me drink the six pack of beers real quick. Then it's on, white man. <laughs> Everybody else is going to be getting in the other van to go to the hotel. Be like, Chris, where are you going? I don't know. These guys want me to go to this gym for some reason with BJ Finn. And, and no, I his don't really get a choice. choice is these streets <laughs> after yeah. last call, man. He's like, man, are y'all guys going to roll out some mats or something? Or are we just doing this shit on the gravel? Because uh, that shit looks tarred. <laughs> I don't want to scuff up my shorts. Did he hey, say man, tarred? I can't mess up this Hawaiian shirt, bro. Right? Wait, wait. Did he say tarred or hard? It looks hard. Oh, oh, yeah! I, I thought you said hard. hard you know? No, T A R D. My bad. No, my bad. I have enough. Whoa. I have enough respect for B J Penn to not call him a tard. Yeah, sure. sure. Okay. B J heard hey, call him a tard, bro. He's hey, waiting baby. right now. He's looking up your flight info right now with Hawaiian yeah. Airlines. He just jumped out of the four foot pool, bare, you know, flat footed. <laughs> oh shit, B J Penn! You hear this shit talk, boy? Hell no! I couldn't do that. I'd have to like roll out like a whale, like Sea World. He's going to catch you when you least expect it at the pool. Sipping on your Hawaiian pina coladas with your fresh, local, organic Hawaiian pineapple juice. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be <laughs> fucking awesome. With the uh, umbrella straw thing, whatever. The little cocktail umbrella, I mean, sorry. It's going to be great. Did you, did you say cocktail? He did. Yeah, I did. Nice. 
Dude, I'm taking. I, I didn't realize it, but like literally, I've I've taken one day off this year. One. Whoa. Well, that, that's your fault. Yeah, man. A little bit, but I've just worked to make sure that I've done everything I need to do. So, so that, that way, I am I am completely unplugging. That's good. All right, so we're gonna let you unplug even more now. So we're okay. um, we're almost at an hour. Let's call it. I mean, we weren't really prepared to do a podcast because you know your computer <laughs> crashed. Technical yep. difficulty. We had we had technical difficulties setting up the shit. So next week we should be a little bit more prepared. Hey, uh, y'all have fun. Yeah. Uh, so you're gonna be off for two weeks, Miggy. What's up? Are you are you coming back or what? Uh, yeah. Uh, so if you do it around this time, I'll just train a day class so I can do this. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna ha- try to have you, Zach, and Brandon on for the next two weeks doing this shit. So. Hopefully it'll work out. I don't know what happened last time. It takes three of y'all to pull my weight, so y'all better do good. <laughs> oh. I know, I know. Anyway, oh, guys, I better, before, before I, better, we, I better hear some some good conversation and, and some some good motherfucker shit. police. I'm Shut gonna up. talk a lot of you're, shit you're about you. You're gonna be disconnected. So well, yeah, but I'm still gonna I'm, I'm about. still gonna download I'm still gonna download it so I can listen to it on the on the flight back. So. Sure, pal. It's a fucking twelve hour flight back, man. I gotta listen to some something. Yeah, listen to JRE. Way yeah. better. Yeah, I probably will. I mean, I, I got a few <laughs> of those queued up, but I'm still gonna download ours and, and probably listen to listen to those, and I'll listen to some of the Nest ones too. And all like that. All right, before all we right. go, Miggy, why don't you uh, give shout out to your uh, to your peoples? All right. Um, shout outs to my peoples. Well, that was good right like there. Doing, yeah. Is wow. that it? Bro? That's Jesus. it for right now, man. I'm holding in a massive shit, and I'm just not trying to think about it. You're you're not you're not th- thanking your sponsor or anything like that. No, nah, she's on the way home, so I don't feel like shouting her out right now. Mm. All right, all right. Wow. I, well, I know uh, that uh, Chris ain't got shit else to say, so except yep. Mahalo or excuse me, Mahalo, Aloha, Ma- Aloha. Ma- Aloha. Mahalo, ho- Holly. <laughs> I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know how the spam <laughs> breakfasts are. Oh, oh, go to McDonald's. Yeah. They got spam there in Hawaii. Damn get right, a loco bros. moco. All right, guys. Anyway, uh, we're going to call it a day. And uh, thank you very much for listening. We appreciate your support. And uh, Miggy, Brandon, and Zach will catch you next week. Peace. Peace.